Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking today and my name is Sophie. So one of the things that we're going to be talking about today is stopping smoking. Now I was a really heavy smoker for quite a lot of years and until recently I really could not bring myself to give up smoking. So stopping smoking is super important and we all know that we have to do it. It not only affects our mental state, but it also affects our bodies. I um, was a really heavy smoker until one day when I read a quote by a famous businessman called Warren Buffett. Now he actually said, imagine you were given a car for your whole life and it was just one car. You would make sure that you would take care of it in everything, its services, its paint jobs, the oil changes, everything. Well, the human body is that vehicle for us. Now, this really did resonate with me and I did especially try hard to give up smoking after reading this. Now, I'm going to give you five big tips that really helped me quit smoking after years and years of trying and trying and failing and failing. So, don't go anywhere, guys. Make sure you subscribe because there's going to be so many more videos coming your way. So let's go. The five tips that I can give you to help you quit smoking. So tip numero uno, willpower. Willpower is something which is really hard to get hold of if you don't have the real reasons. Now a lot of people say, oh, I'll give up smoking for my children, I'll give up smoking for my husband or my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my dog and it's just not going to work. You really need to find the reason for yourself to quit smoking. Now for me it was that the Warren Buffett quote really struck with me. This is the one vehicle that I have to maintain and keep going because when I'm 70 I want to still be as youthful and as vibrant as I am now. So willpower guys is a super super main one okay. Without this quite frankly you will fail like I did so, so many times. So dig deep, guys. Dig deep in your memories, dig deep in your hearts, and find the willpower for you guys to quit smoking. So tip numero dos is to get yourself onto a non-smoking app. There are so many out there and I will put down the description below of the one that I have been using. It's absolutely amazing because it really engages you on not only your little milestones, like maybe you've only smoked one cigarette less or two or three or four, and even how many hours you have been smoke free. It also gives you badges on an hour, like I think it's how many hours you haven't smoked and also how many weeks, how many cigarettes you haven't smoked and also it gives you updates on all your body's progress. And for the first week it really does just go into your nicotine levels, your oxygen levels but after that it really does go into how like um, percentage wise you are to a non-smoker regards to heart disease and lung cancer and everything else in between. So it's super, super useful and it gives you a really good idea of how much money you are saving. Now, I know that in the UK, the cigarettes are super expensive. It's like 10 pounds a pack. Yeah. In Gibraltar, where I am based, it's only like two pounds 40. <laughs> so, but it still accumulates over time and it's certainly worth doing that. That is step number two, and that is to get a non-smoking app on your phone. So tip numero tres is to stay away from electronic cigarettes, vapes, Icos, and anything that resembles a real cigarette. Now, when I tried to give up smoking, I really thought these would help me, but in actual fact, they did not do that. So they were just too similar for, to real cigarettes. They were too similar to real cigarettes for me, and they were just like I'd never given up in the first place. It was almost like a get out of jail free card, but it wasn't because no doubt in about a week, five days, three days time, I was back on the normal cigarettes again. So guys, my tip number three is that stay away from anything that resembles real cigarettes. Keep to maybe the gums or the nicotine patches or the sprays, but please, please, please stay away from anything that resembles a cigarette. 
Tip numero quattro. For me, having smoking friends really didn't help me. So I had to make some serious life decisions in the sense of going out. So cigarettes and alcohol for me were just my little catalyst for trouble because I just couldn't resist having one tiny little baby cigarette on a night out if all my friends were smoking. So I really had to dig deep and say good night to a lot of my friends as soon as I got that single little tiny urge to have a cigarette so guys I know it's really antisocial and it's super hard to do but if you can do it try and avoid going out with your friends that you know are going to be smoking and drinking and maybe just have coffees or maybe just leave a bit earlier so tip numero cinco is the fact that exercising will really help you stay off those cigarettes because Exercising actually makes you realize how much you are improving and how far you have come. Now, when I was a smoker, I just simply flat out refused to do anything that involved cardio and running and anything that required physical activity because I knew that my body just wasn't up to it and I couldn't cope with it. I didn't want to embarrass myself and I certainly didn't want to uh, put myself under any more pressure than I needed to. So when I actually gave up smoking at the same time I joined a gym. Now you don't have to join a gym, you can take your dogs for super long walks or you can just do exercises at home. But when you do exercises your little milestones will be far more obvious to you you than anybody else so maybe you can run a minute or two faster or maybe you can lift a heavier weight for longer and these are the little milestones that really show that you how your body is changing now I really really hope that you guys can follow these five little steps into the world of the non-smoking realm so stay tuned to my channel. I've got so many more things to come your way. We've got beauty products, more advice, fitness, health recipes, everything in between. So don't stay away for too long and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.